morning vlog <laughs> my nail fell off you guys look is it sticking look at you with those long nails ella <laughs> purr girl i love it yeah guys my nail fell off so um <gasps> there she is should i bring it back to me lux and say hi can you put my nail back on please <laughs> but yeah good morning nail glue. i'll see his nail glue you glue it back on Yeah, honestly, should we try? Okay, wait, let's try that. But good morning, we're about to go get coffee and food. So, hey, I'm still in Connecticut right now, but yeah. Uh, wait, I can't open this. Use those muscles. Should we just give up? Never give up. Make it stick. No. Oh, okay. Make it stick. Don't you have to let it get tacky first? I don't know. I've never done this before. Yeah, then go. Hold it down. It's not like gorilla glue, right? It won't get stuck on my fingers forever. Like usually you have to like use a saw to get it off, but yeah, it's fine. As long as you have a saw. They don't do saws, they only use the nail file. <laughs> Joking. No <A> saw. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the little twirly thing. No. Let's hope this dries. Guys, it snowed so much last night. My car is covered in it. I just had to use my, I have like my old field hockey sticks in the back of my car. Don't ask why. I have no idea why they've been there for years. And I just had to use those to, hi Jack. <laughs> I had to use those to get the snow off of the roof of my car because I couldn't reach. But I love that it snowed. I kind of like it here. <laughs> I don't want to leave. I wish I could leave so that I didn't have to take my notes. Oh, are we going to Whitney? <gasps> Whitney, don't know my favorite place ever! Hi, Whitney! <laughs> hey, girl! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am so excited. Six item limit. Oh, there's some snow in here. There's a lot going on right now. Oh, it's extendo so that you can give it to the people at the, t at the drive through I'm so excited. That's gonna be ours. Mm. I keep getting the iced sugar cookie latte. I don't even like it. I don't like the sugar cookie latte. It doesn't taste like coffee. It tastes like chemicals to me. Yeah. But I liked it at first. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need help, girl? No. How amazing that it fits. I love it. A little bit. I, my eyes are puffy. Are you crying, girl? <laughs> no, not that I know of. Sometimes I cry in my sleep, though. Oh my god, you made such a weird noise and I forget what it was. This morning, did I bark? <laughs> this morning, did I yes, bark? Yes, yes. <laughs> A dream and say, you literally, is there a dog here? I think you did. I barked. I think you did. Thank you. Because I heard you make a really weird noise. It was like, but it wasn't like a much. Ella, it wasn't like a. It was like a. It was like a yeah, it was like a. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I remember like kind of like crying in my sleep because I had a sad dream about like. Yeah. No way. Yeah, he was like at my school. What if you're manifesting that happening then? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> like weird. Yeah, the first year I ever did Vlogmas. And we'd, we we like had a Starbucks phase. And we'd get it's venti ice waters. Winter. I know, it's always in the winter when we have Starbucks phases. We would get venti ice waters. And we'd call them Frappa Chappa Juice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I forgot about that. It's just a lot of caramel. It is just caramel. Is this not what you wanted? No, it is what I wanted, but like... <laughs> oh yeah, like Guys, it's, it's chunky. We got ice caramel macchiatos. Look how much caramel they put in this. Mm -mm -mm, too good. Whoa, not 
the snowball hitting the car. I just got back to Boston and I had to run to Copley to get tights, but they didn't have my tights in stock. I didn't know what, I, like I never knew that nice tights were a thing, you guys. Not like, not that I didn't know that they were a thing, but whenever I needed tights, I literally would just like go to CVS and I would just like grab tights and wear them. And I was like, why do I see people wearing tights that look so good and just look so soft and nice? And I feel like the tights that I was wearing didn't look that way and I was like how do I get a nice pair of tights that like look nice on the leg and then all my friends were like you got to go to Wolford and get tights and I was like what's Wolford and they're like you've never heard of Wolford and I was like no I've never heard of Wolford before Wolford has really nice tights I don't know but anyway I went today to get the sheer ones and they were out of stock in the store and then I also went to Louis Vuitton but they didn't have what I wanted in stock either so today was a Today was a miss for me, which is fine. Cause clearly it wasn't meant to be, but it's okay. Now we're finally heading home. I can't wait to get home. Cause it's been a long day of driving. I feel like I've just been in the car all day long since I woke up this morning. Why does Starbucks water taste so good? Mm. It's amazing. Delightful. <laughs> I can't with myself, please. Christmas is coming up, which reminds me I have not done gift guides yet. I feel like I've never been the gift guide type. Like I've never really made gift guides, but um, I'm gonna work on that this week for you guys. I'm gonna throw together some, I'm, I'm such a last minute girl when it comes to like gifts and stuff. So I'm gonna throw together some last minute gift guides for, <sighs> I only normally do like the for like your friends your family for like girls for her type thing I don't know what to get guys guys is not my strong point I feel like for me in gifting something for a guy I'm really good at gifting okay I love pe buying people gifts I feel like I buy my friends everything and I'm very like giving when it comes to that type of stuff and so I, I like to listen to people and I'll get them something that they talked about for a while or something that they really like or something they just don't shut up about or experiences. I really, really, really enjoy giving people experiences. Like for example, my best friend, I like want to take her somewhere for like a birthday present next year or like I'll buy someone concert tickets for a present like last year my sister and I got my brother Concert tickets for Christmas and then we all went to a concert together over the summer And like now we get to look back and be like oh remember the concert that we went to like it's just fun little experiences like that So and like buying concert tickets for your friends and stuff like that. That's like something that I like to do but Another thing is when it comes to guys guys are very hard to shop for because like what do you buy a guy? You can't just like buy them a Laneige lip mask and call it a day because they'd be like what or like anything like that, you know, so For example one of my guy friends He has a favorite sports player that he always talks about Blah 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 like is obsessed with him. So I was like, okay, like he, and he was talking about it one day with me. He was like, well, I don't want to buy a jersey for him because, or like I got a jersey for so-and-so because it was on sale for like $80 and jerseys are normally like $130. And I was like, okay, like that is a good idea for like me and my best friend to like split a gift for him. We could buy him a jersey for one of his favorite te team players for whatever team or whoever the person is, whatever, buy one of those jerseys for him, like the real one, so that he's like... That, like you know like that's something that like you think of that like you wouldn't normally buy yourself or like little joke gifts or like if you have a little bit of extra money to spend like a pair of Apple headphones that are like engraved or something like that, you know, but I'm very much a experience girl. I like to 
create experiences with people or do something that's a little bit more thoughtful. One of my favorite gifts that I've ever received, my best friend got for me for my 21st birthday. Not even got for me, she made me for my 21st birthday. She did 21 things that she loves about me. And I was like, that is my favorite thing in the world. Like, she got a little glass jar and got index cards and wrote 21 things, like had 21 in index cards. And on each index card had one thing that she loved about me. Or like our friendship. And I was like, that's the most heartfelt, sweetest gift in the whole entire world. Like that's something because I'm the type of person where like I can just get something myself. I don't want people to buy stuff for me. I don't like when people buy stuff for me, but and also like I'm very hard to shop for because I have like whatever I want, like I'll just get it, you know? But that type of gift is something that just like makes me so 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 happy and now like every time I read a new book I grab a little like index card out of the jar and I use it as a new bookmark so that each time I read a book or like a new book I look at the note card and it's just so cute and it makes me so happy so that's what I like to do for the holiday season but I'm gonna go and I'll create some good guides later for you guys Okay, you guys, for dinner tonight, I'm making my mom's taco salad recipe. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite recipe in the whole entire world. I always ask her to make this for me, and it's so, so, so good. So she always uses whatever lettuce that she has in her house, and it's always arugula. Like, knowing my mom, she always buys arugula, so she always uses it, even if you'd think, like, a uh, taco salad although it's not like actually taco meat or anything it's used we use chicken or sometimes we'll have like a fish but whatever like depending on what she has it's always depending on what she has she always has arugula so she always uses arugula even though romaine would sound more normal she's an arugula girl so we're gonna use arugula and then we have everything else that we need i have two different dressings she normally does a green goddess dressing um, or like a avocado cilantro lime dressing. I had this and then I also had this vegan Caesar, which doesn't really sound so taco salad-ish, but it's a really good dressing. So I'm gonna try both to see which one would be better with this, but yeah. I also have chicken. These are just little chicken breast tenders or like the skinny ones are easier to cook in my opinion. I don't love cooking meat, it scares me because I just don't want to not cook it fully. So I like getting the smaller ones. All right, we're just going to start off with a pan, throw some oil in there. This is just some seasonings that would go good on the chicken. I'm using sea salt, chili pepper, chipotle pepper, and cumin, and some normal pepper. <laughs> Almost forgot, I'm gonna add some garlic powder in here. I like love garlic powder, so anything with garlic is like, I don't know. <laughs> so I added some of that. Okay, so here's the salad with all the components. And now I'm gonna add the last secret ingredient is, this is what makes the salad. I also like putting it in this large bowl even though it's literally like probably a handful of lettuce and then everything that I'm putting on top, on top. So it looks like it's huge, but it makes it so much easier to eat a salad if it's in a large bowl. That's what Ella's mom does for us. She always puts our salads in a huge bowl so we can like mix around. Secret ingredient is tortilla chips. So these are just yellow corn tortilla chips. And what you do is you take some and you break them up into little pieces. 
and put that on top. And this makes the salad so, so, so good. Guys, I'm editing right now the video that is going up today. So, whatever. <laughs> anyway, that has that's irrelevant. I have an external hard drive right here that keeps all of my videos and just like footage and stuff like that on one area. You normally have one of those when you edit. I opened up my external hard drive and it has like a ton of old videos on it. This is my 4th of July vlog. I didn't post it because it's 16 minutes long and it's honestly such a bad vlog that I just didn't even want to post it. I felt like embarrassed about how bad it was. <laughs> but I need to show you guys some of it. No, 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 hey guys. No, no, no. Sick of me. <laughs> okay, um. Hi. We're back. Oh my God. Uh, welcome to you this guys? vlog. Yeah. Wait, you haven't started the vlog yet? Um, no, not yet. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You guys are probably so scared. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> literally. What are we gonna start it off? Wait, that's so crazy. Okay, okay so, guys. hi, we're heading to the Hamptons. Currently an hour and 20 out. Wait, guys, also, I literally got an eye feel facially yesterday, like a fucking <laughs> lunatic. And I was like, oh yeah, like, all good. It literally makes your freckles turn black and then flake <laughs> off your skin. I look like an actual shedding lizard. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> so like, I don't know where the audio went and why it's not working, but how cute! I miss it! You guys, I miss this so much. I wish you could hear it. Oh my god, I love this outfit! This night was so fun. <laughs> I miss it! And then literally the rest of the vlog was me driving home eight hours it took me eight hours to get home the next time or the last day or whatever and i was literally crying because oh my god that was so insane i was supposed to take the ferry to connecticut and then only have like a two-hour drive home but i instead of staying at our house with where my car was parked i stayed with my friends at his house and I had to Uber home in the morning. Didn't make it home in time because the Uber took so long I underestimated how close we are. We ended up being an hour away. Not even an hour, like it was like 35 minutes. And I missed the opening of getting onto the ferry completely. And I didn't know what to, what to do then. I had gotten like an hour of sleep that night. And so I drove home. All the way around all the way like literally it took me eight hours basically because I started and I drove all from Long Island well Montauk all through Long Island all through New York City all through Connecticut and then like down the Cape and it took so 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 long and I also had to stop and take a nap because I was so tired <laughs> so I just wish it was summer though. Like I would do anything. Like I would, I seriously would redo that if I could just relive a weekend in the summer, even though it was so bad. Anyway, now I'm editing this vlog. Well, not this vlog, the vlog before this one to upload for you guys. And it was snowing today and yesterday. So that's a complete 180 from the weather that I was just watching in my 4th of July video. Got some PR from RMS Beauty. This is a brow pencil. We have natural finish foundation. This is the Glow Icons little set. It has mascara. And then it has... What are the rest of things that it has? Luminizer, radiance base, lip to cheek, and a bronzer. Cool. And then this is beauty oil. Thank you, RMS. So sweet of you guys.
Okay, guys, that is the end of. Don't mind Gossip Girl in the background, but that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye, guys.